Oh, I slept great last night. And would you just look at this beautiful day. Alright, I guess I should let my Pokemon enjoy this as well. So let's come out Greninja, Absol, Dusknor, Lapras, Torkoal and Swallow. Alright, so actually while I'm letting you have a taste of this fresh air, I actually want to tell you guys something and it's about the reason why we are on this trip. So I'm just gonna take a seat and uh, last time we, uh, when we were at the headquarters of Team Rocket, I found this in a chamber. It's a notebook with some valuable information in it, so let's go and read it out loud. A few hundred years back, there were three Pokemon that guarded the Lake of Life. The lake that provides life for the forest surrounding it, and even the lands beyond them. But after 300 years of peace, a war broke out. The three guardians couldn't, uh, couldn't sit still and watch their forest get burnt and their Pokemon friends die. So the, three, uh, so the three guardians used all of their strength to end the war. They succeeded, but the guardians grew weak to the point where they couldn't defend themselves. Hunters saw them in their weakened state and tried to catch them to eventually sell them. So the three guardians chose to turn themselves into stone and that led to the destruction of half of the forest. It is now nothing more than a desert. I want to free the guardians, but I'm already too old to do that. So I would like to ask the one reading this to find the keystones that will help free the legendary Pokemons and release them by throwing the stones in the lake. You have my thanks. And that's basically uh, what's written uh, inside this uh, yeah, notebook. So we're, uh, we're going to that lake and we're going to see the statues of the three legendary Pokemon and I um, actually think we might find a clue on where the keystones are hidden and how do we get there so I have I have my hopes up and I need you all at full strength so that we can fight whatever comes on our uh, in our way of our path so you have had enough fresh air I think we should just call you back let's see retrieve swallow um, Greninja, Absol, Dusknor, Lepros and Torkoal and especially Torkoal and Swallow you should uh, probably fight some trainers while we're on our way so that we could also get closer to the level of uh, your friends because uh, you're a couple of levels behind and before I go, uh, before we go to the lake I should probably get my stuff let's get the, these torches that I hang up and my bed and also my folding chair Alright, so actually I'm quite lucky to have found a tent in the middle of a forest. I mean, it was already like this with a little bit of dust um, on the bed, but uh, there was also a fire still on here, but uh, I turned off, but I don't actually understand why there would be something like this when no one uh, was around. I mean, it looked like there was someone who used it not too uh, long ago, but no one came here, so that's uh, pretty strange. I hope we can find some answers for that later on. Uh, and I think we should just go this way. I think it was, um, yeah, I think it was this way to the lake. Oh, there's an apricorn tree over here. An apricorn. We can sell that for a um, for some uh, money so that we can buy some more items. And let's train our swallow against this uh, s sparrow. And where is sparrow? Ah, oh, he actually did he actually just fly up higher? I think he did. All right, so let's go and fight against the sparrow. Let's hope our swallow gets some more. Uh, XP so that he can level up with one in battle. Um, oh, there's another apricorn tree over here. Let's get that. And we already have two of them. Let's actually put them all, um, all our stuff back in our inventory. So now we can sell some of these. And I have Pokeballs with me so I can catch the legendary um, tree poke uh, guardians. So I want to mix. Uh, uh, I want to actually become friends with them and just um, help them restore the desert into its original state and. Would you just look? There's a Pokemon. There's a trainer over here, and you look at his at his outfit. It's just awesome, completely covered in flames. Um, does that mean he's actually a flame type user? That means Torkoal wouldn't be of much use. So I'm just gonna throw in Swallow, and let's see what um, happens. All right, so he has camera up. Um, I think this is gonna be bad. So I'm just gonna switch to Greninja. Uh, I don't want a Swallow to die just yet. Let's use Bubble, and it's super effective. Um, Greninja can't, uh, right? So let's go switch. It's Arc 9, right? So let's go switch to Swallow this time. And let's see, does he actually? He actually KO'd Swallow. He, alright, so that was a bad choice. And this is actually bad because there aren't any Pokemon centers around here. And I don't know how I'm gonna heal Swallow. Um, 
Torkoal, yeah, that's just hell. I think I think he can take him. All right, so he did nullify the attack. All right, so I think I should just go back to Greninja and let him take over. I guess they're not ready for fighting just yet against strong trainers. Torkoal grown. Oh, Torkoal has grown another level. Good Magmar. Let's go use Bubble again. Oh, I didn't KO him. And again, Greninja use Bubble. And it's super effective, Mount Mount Faint. Alright, good. Greninja leveled up. Awesome. So Greninja is also getting closer to uh, Dusknoir and the rest. Let's go use a bubble again. And it's super effective. And also a crit. You've won the battle. My passion is burned out. Yeah, man. My passion is just on fire. Alright, so we've won 32 Poké Dollars for defeating Leo. So let's go down here and let's see. There uh, if there are, um, let's go to the lake. Is this a lake? No, it is just a small river. And I see another trainer over there and a Pokemon over there. I want to level up Torkoal, so let's just throw Torkoal to this guy. And let's go and use actually, I don't want to like kill him, but I guess I'm going to. Yeah, so let's just go and use Lava Plume. All right, so oh, actually, I didn't kill him, it's super effective. Let's go and use our Pokeballs on him and. Let's hope we get that Lydian because I would just want to catch a lot of Pokeballs, uh, Pokemons while we're here. I mean, I've never been um, to this area before, so there are some Pokemon that I can't find uh, ever again. I broke free. All right, so it's gonna be a whole lot tougher. Let's go and use Ultra Ball again, and let's hope that we get him in that Pokemon. Let's just stay in that Pokeball and broke free. We almost got him. Definitely almost got him because it took a long time. Right, so if it doesn't get him now, I'll just run or beat him. And did we get you've captured Lydian? We have got our Pokemon, and there is a trainer right over here. I wonder if it's a bug type user or it is a water type user because it's at the edge. So I'll just join Torkoal and see. Oh, it's Sight. All right, so Alexandra is her name. There are no good bug Pokemon. If I lose, I'm starting a new team. Oh, so I guess you're gonna have to start a new team because my Torkoal is fired up, literally. Alright, so he's another build and uh, B-drill and uh, let's see. Lava Bloom is super effective. Oh, he's burned, so he's probably gonna die. Yep. Alright, so even though we didn't KO him, let's go and use Flame Throw. Flame Throw and it was more than enough. Peter fainted and sent out Z Torkoal has grown to level 40. Nice. Amnesia, no, I don't want to learn that. Let's go and use Flamethrower again. It's too bad that Swellow didn't um, level up, but that's all right. All right, so we've won the bet. That's it. I'm making a new team. I'm, I'm sorry, little girl. Actually, is that is that what we're looking for? No way. Is that is this the lake? Oh my god, it looks so absolutely awesome. And are those actually statues of Gyarados? I mean, those are like the beasts of the sea, and they're just behind. And these are the three legendary lake guardians. Um, Yuxi, Azelf, and Mesprit. Is this, and this is the awesome lake. And I guess that's the desert. So the lake is actually in the middle of the forest and the desert. And this river over there probably just cuts the two in half. Oh, that is absolutely awesome. It looks beautiful. But so this is how Yuxi uh, looks like. And I actually... Uh, thought they would be a lot bigger considering what they can do, but I guess you should never uh, judge a book by its cover. I mean, you should look at how it looks actually absolutely beautiful. And this is Azelf, and this is Mesprit. So they look like, um, yeah, they're like the three lake guardians, and even the beasts of the sea are just behind them, only as a sight, uh, my character. Alright, so I don't see any clues on where we can find keystones uh, I don't see anything wait a minute why is there a torch over there actually there might be some people living right um, near this place so that maybe they know a lot more should I just follow that someone could have done that to not lose their way in the night I mean that would be um, pretty cool if they did that so that we can find them easier and I also need to do something about swallow because he has fainted and he needs some medical care right away so I think this is our best shot, um, but I also want to actually level up my Greninja a bit, so we're at a good place seeing as how we're at the desert. And when I think about it, if I do find the keystones and I throw them in the lake and the legendary Pokemons like revive, wouldn't they 
Uh, they would probably uh, remove this desert and make it all forest again, but wouldn't that be bad for the Pokemon here? I mean, these Pokemon can only live in a desert biome. Actually, does that mean they'll all die? I'm, I actually don't want to think about this just now, uh, right now. Um, there's a Magmar over here. I think I'm gonna let him fight my Greninja. He's at a perfect level so that my Greninja can beat him and it's super effective. Alright, so we've got some Blaze Power too. I can sell that later at the Pokemart. I mean, it's quite uh, valuable for um, people. They can make all kinds of potions with them. There's a Sensor over there. And actually, how long does this uh, trip actually take? I mean, how long uh, is it gonna lead me? Uh, all these torches. And there's a trainer right over there. I mean, he's already running away. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna go over there and I think I'm gonna go fight him using Greninja. Alright, so I need to take some distance. Alright, so he's a steel type trainer, a Metang. Alright, so is Bubble, uh, is Bubble effective? Alright, so avoided the attack, nicely done Greninja. And let's go and use Bubble again, Magneton. You could actually destroy my Greninja in one attack. Um, Alright, so he sent out Clink. Let's use Bubble and that is super effective. You dare pay it off. No, actually it wasn't there. I was quite confident if I do say so myself. So yeah, let's just stay on this um, road of light and let's just follow it. Alright, so I haven't seen any Pokemon uh, near this um, little road. Oh, actually, what, what's that? that? That looks like some kind of entrance, but it goes down. So I guess, does that mean there are people living underground? Or is it something like a hidden hideout for someone? Uh, actually... I have a bad feeling about this and I need someone to heal my swallow so but I don't see anyone else so I guess I don't have any other option do I ah uh, but why would someone make something on the ground here all right I guess I have no other choice I have to take this risk I'm just going